going live. Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to Hang On Head channel and I'm Paul speaking to you from the very, very warm Berlin. After two successful streamings of the Quarantine 13 project by Quarantine Artist Collective, today I will carry on and stream a third event, which is the second artist talk of the talk series. So here we have two artists with us, Momcho Alexiv and Mary Paula, and also moderators Detlef Schlag Schlagheck and Elena Kaludova. You're very welcome to post any questions or comments in the chat. Elena will collect the questions for the artists and moderators to respond at the end. You're also very much welcome to subscribe to Quarantine Artist Collective on Facebook for future events. I've already put the link down below in the description. So now I will hand it over to our moderator, Elena and Detlev. Hello. Hello, please be welcomed in the second artist talk of our online exhibition Quarantine 13, Quarantine 13. Um, we did, we start this exhibition, I think something like two or three months ago. Uh, it was something like a reaction to Corona crisis, of course. Uh, so we don't want to be lazy. We want to do art uh, in that specific situation. So we invited uh, about uh, 30 uh, groups or single artists to uh, being part of this exhibition. And in whole, I think it's something like about 50 uh, single persons who are building uh, these four work. And uh, now uh, we have an artist talk with two of those artists. Uh, pa just uh, introduced shortly by the name. And uh, at this day, uh, we start with uh, Marie Pola uh, in World 4. Now we are in World 4. And uh, after that, we will go to World 2. Uh, and uh, you can see it on live stream. You don't have to do anything. Uh, but if you want to get in the game, uh, you can follow the descriptions on the wall, how to change the world. And uh, yes, say some words, Elena, I forgot. Yes, we will now lead to Maricola's gallery. We decided to do those artist talks just because each work went to be like a home museum. And although we did <clears> like <throat> three hours streaming, we couldn't see everything. So. We will turn special attention to each one of the artists as much as we can. So I offer that we just lead to Marie's gallery. Okay, we follow yeah. Elena and go to Marie Pola's museum, or should I call it gallery? Oh, it's your free to choose. <laughs> okay. Or is it a sculpture? We will see. Um. <clears throat> Three in one. So we follow Elena. She knows yes. how to go. Marie, you can tell us something about you, like what background you come from, what you studied, where you, where you live. Oh yeah, I'm uh, a Berlin-based artist. So uh, born in Germany as well, living around the world a little bit. And first half of my professional life, I used to be an archaeologist, studying archaeology in Bonn, and I worked in. Uh, this is like uh, Jordan and Israel and around Europe. I was mostly busy about early, and early Christian culture and architecture and iconography. So, and after a while I had some questions about uh, the art today. So I decided to go to Berlin and uh, studied uh, fine arts in art history again. And I know uh, Elena and Mike from the Artist Collective from uh, the Art Academy, uh, the Kunstschule Weissensee, we studied there, uh, and we had uh, time-wise an overlap, and we know each other from some classes there. So, and I'm happy they invited me for this project. It was super exciting, and it was so wonderful to work with these people. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so far. And can I ask you a question? How of do you course. think that the, that previous studies, archaeology and art history, influence your work nowadays? Uh, I think there's always an influence. You are conscious about that and sometimes not. I don't think so much about this. 
And uh, but it comes true. There are certain moments you have this still this view of an archaeologist. So I, I work mostly. Also, I'm a drawer. I draw most of the time. I do also installations. But um, it has always to do with layers, with uh, uh, looking underneath things and trying to figure out the nature of things and where things begin. And so uh, that's that's what I really love to do to have a second view and say to find the roots of uh, where things starts. Right. So, so this is the thing. And there are pictures. They are burned into my my mind. They come up from time to time. They pop up again. So and they lost their original context. And now I have have to give them a new context, or to bring it in a different. Uh, that let them be home in a different system and a different order. Uh, what do you think is uh, your role uh, in this exhibition? Are you an artist or an archaeologist or? Uh, I'm totally an artist. There is nothing. There's no place for something else. This is okay. this is gone. This is this is past. It is important because without this, I wouldn't be where I am now. But I see myself totally as an artist. I I the first time I, I had this kind of combination of thinking, oh, this is so cool to combine the theory with the art, with the art of making things, because you learn certain things just by doing things. But um, from that moment on, that I missed the point of return. I I I'm totally an artist. And I also see the world in a different way now. So I couldn't go back to be a scientist. That was gone. <laughs> it's still great to have to step up. How old are you? This is a question I would never answer. <laughs> okay. In an internet game. <laughs> Very life for me. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. So let's have a look at your uh, building, or should I call it sculpture? Sorry, I did. I, 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 you were lost for a while. Um, will you please uh, um, ask me again because I couldn't understand your. So your I have a, something like a view from uh, uh, on your sculpture or your art space or your location. What do you call it? Oh, it's. I wouldn't see it as a sculpture as well. This is a. It's more an architecture, right? So and. Um, I started at the beginning. I started more below, to the, more close to the ground, and then I realized I need something um, in between the building and the ground. And it's uh, it's an artwork that built a synthesis uh, with the with the artworks inside. So it was just meant at the beginning as a as a as a house for the works, but at the end of the day, it became a unit. So um, and this is the whole thing with this project. I think. Uh, The, the, it's all digital. The, the, that nature of that digital medium also um, lead me back to some of my older works, right? That I didn't have in in my mind anymore. They are from 2017 mostly, and uh, so um, it was all an exploration of the social media game and G, uh, game and all the gender rules and uh, uh, the dream of being the chosen one as well. That's why also the of the gallery of the house is house of chosen once in plural and uh, yo it became yeah. its own thing at the end right so but you developed it during the exhibition you didn't Absolutely. have like a yeah. previous plan where you knew what to, who you want to build you just no, it, it was reacted. like a tabula rasa it was totally like a, a white uh, page of papers and so I did it until I, I was standing in my field and just a square with a uh, yellow line around and uh, it, I started from the scratch thinking about and then it came up with my stuff so it's a very okay. spontaneous thing. Hmm. Let's go yeah. in. Yeah. <laughs> I think perhaps we uh, sh uh, should do it uh, not by flying mode but perhaps we can... Uh, it's the stairs, it. yeah, be sporty man. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm um, Stare out of glass blocks. Yeah. And so to me, it looks a little bit like a creature in between. It is a sculpture and a museum also. Yeah. So we go upstairs completely? Yes. We are already there with Pearl. Yes, we have to wait for the artist. I don't uh. I guess I have to fly up. Yeah, just fly. Up. 
Oh, tippy doo. I'm coming, I'm on my way. Most important artists are always late. <laughs> I'm late, but it doesn't mean it is a sign of being very important. So <laughs> but I can fly, so it's a start. Okay, here I am. Okay, okay, please tell us something about this room. This room. Oh yeah, this room is um, started as a house for the for the artworks, right? And it is um, it has the shape clearly of a basilica, no? Yes. And um, it came with the artwork, so it, the place, the start of the work, I started actually with a high flyer a bit downstairs, and I decided to 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 come up with a sort of a, a um, yeah, the shape of a basilica of an old uh, um, ancient building. And um, then the next idea was, you know, I, I come up with the works. They are out of a, a digital art period I had. And, um, you know, it was mostly about social media game and all the rules inside. And one was uh, the condition for the other. And so it, it both came together in a way that I didn't expect that will be that way before, right? And the first work we are standing in front is a uh, part of... Uh, of um, an archive I started in 2017 and I worked about crowns of Instagram of pictures oh, okay. of uh, people especially in that case of women and it's called uh, background stories and I found myself being super interested in it's behind the persons behind the people so um, okay. sorry I have to interrupt you uh, yeah I come to do that <laughs> It's not, uh, th these are not photos um, of you. I found them and I photos uh, screenshots. I did, and then I uh, totally uh, hired the persons, so I removed them from the pictures to uh, just uh, make the background visible somehow. Okay. And it's about space inside, so what, you, you sometimes you can see the shape of a person. Sometimes not really, and they are filled with the mixed up content of that picture, right? So, and oh. um, that's this is what it is. Important information. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. And this is just part of this archive, so there are more, but I decided to choose some of those. They are as so diverse as possible. Mm -hmm. And what's the um, thing? I'm sorry. I, I was just commenting that it's interesting how in most. In Almost in all of them, behind the person, there is a mirror. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, this is the character of the, of the thing. You can see all mirror the selfies. other details. I, I'm always looking through doors or find a door in that room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, it's it's pretty different. So sometimes you, you, you look into a hotel room, sometimes in a, in a, in a room that looks like the room of a, of a young girl, the children, or a kid, whatever, or sometimes you see these messy rooms behind, or they look like construction sites, and um, or, or totally set up uh, spaces behind with also a little bit of advertisement products, that one uh, picture on the, on the right side, uh, really on top of the wall, so you can see there are some, some, some uh, beauty products in the background, so this is very calculated, but sometimes I think this is not really planned out, uh, what's in the background, people forget about that, so, and um, studying this background things, it was also thinking about, but, yeah, how equal is that all, and, yeah, how democratic is that medium, and what is to see, what are the stories behind these uh, figures at the end? What are the yeah. To me, it's like this. Um, I uh, also, if I don't know that you put out the persons out of mm. the box, uh, you have something like a feeling it's very personal and that something is missing. Yeah, yeah, I am. I mean, there's also a, a, a voyeuristic component. Yes. So yes to, right. to, to see behind the people and, and, and check out their background. Yes, that's right. I think. What's the title of that work? Background stories. Mm -hmm. uh, hey. Yeah. I was thinking about. I'm. I'm. Yeah. It was. It was relatively um, easy in that moment. So I was thinking one time about that and made it as easy as possible. But because I'm not good with titles in general, but I think in that case it, it works out. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. decide to leave the the titles out. It does not matter uh, for this work. 
Oh yeah, it matters because it goes with the, it goes with the title. It, it explains something. Otherwise, you stand in front of it. Oh, what's that? No, this no, is like inventory or, or what does that mean? But it's make it makes clear that it's about the background situation. It's also the space behind and you see what is there without the person and how much is the background able to explain something. So let's. Uh, I really like to do a connection to uh, another work in this room, perhaps on the opposite wall. Okay. And I really like to go to this uh, uh, mobile phone guy. <laughs> it's a mobile phone guy. That's the chosen one, by the way. If you ask for the title. Okay. <laughs> okay. Please tell us something about M E or me. Oh me? Oh this guy? You mean? Yeah, well, this is me. This is also this is yeah. It could be a guy from the series that I took out of it. So this is important. This, on the one hand, these are women presenting themselves in their backgrounds and just out to the open. But this guy was standing in front of sort of a canvas or or curtains or whatever it was, and it didn't really have a background. And it was totally about him. And this is still one guy, which is um, just a representative of his of his peer group, right? So. In that time I researched it and um, he represents a typical posture in, in internet in um, in the selfie culture so and there is sort of a um, how can I say a repertoire like sort of a choreography you find in a lot of picture they're very in common so how the rules are to pre present yourself in the best way and how you do your body and so on and um, I found it interesting and as a contrapost to, 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 to the girls on the other side, they are moved out of the pictures, and also um, a contrast to the both girls uh, next to the entrance. And it's just a thing that you find everywhere, but he's out of context, it's just a figure, and this is a sort of um, self-representation. And uh, it goes totally over your body and control of your body into show that you're able to have your thing over control and, uh, and, and the fun to be in a challenge on yourself in this way, right? And Perhaps. Um, he's fulfilling the context, yeah? Perhaps he could be something like uh, an, an icon of uh, those guys and girls uh, on the opposite side? He totally could. Yeah, could, I mean... You can yeah. also say that in front of him there has been a mirror. <laughs> Absolutely. It has to be like this, otherwise the picture would work, yeah. Is that the painting? Uh, this is the collage. The other one is the gaps. Of the... This is a collage, photo collage, background painting. Um, the other work is a painting um, you have in front of the apps. Um, yeah. Uh, of, of course, this picture... Uh, uh, very, this picture very belongs uh, to your basilica setting. So, which one? Um, yeah, this one with this uh, half naked guy with me. Oh, yeah, this guy. Uh, he, this is actually called the chosen one. Yeah, uh, with this is... golden background, and to me, it yeah. reminds me to an uh, ironic commentar uh, to something like uh, Russian religious icons or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it has something from it, absolutely. So, and uh, this is where I got the background. Um, how you say? Um, yeah, it's like an orthodox icon. Yeah, absolutely. So I changed the letters, of course. No, this little guy, you come out of the place, like the girls, for example, and you saw right with that almost perfect body trained and whatever. And um, I found him in a situation where he was uh, um, talking or writing about um, um, virginity, I, I chose you. So he, he, he said that he chose not to have sex and comes out, which is totally respectable in that way. But he was so, um, he, he, he seemed super lost. He also did a, sh um, a shoot of himself in front of a mirror. And um, it was such an act of uh, self-empowerment. I saw, I felt like he's trying to believe himself doing this. And this I... You speak about this holy Jesus or uh... no about this guy? This this guy is ah, okay. this little nerdy guy. Yeah. The <sighs> Sorry guys, there's a little bit delay here.